Boom! We are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Life as a Chad YouTube channel. And I thank all of the homies for being here, wherever you may be. And of course, however you may be listening. I'm going to need you guys to bear with me a little bit today. I got uh, my wisdom tooth pulled. So I am manning up through this to deliver the two cents that I want to deliver on the Amber Heard v. Johnny Depp or Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard situation uh, where the verdict was announced a few days ago. And really what I want to get into is just the implications of all of this and kind of my thoughts from a thousand, you know, 3,000 foot view when it comes to all of this. But before we get into any of that, I want to ask you to hit that subscribe button, help your boy out, help a homie out, because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share, you know the drill. And without further ado, let's get into this. Well, the number one thing that I think that this trial exposed is it totally wiped out this idea that women, that women, never do anything wrong, that they are just in every regard, perfect, beautiful, stoic, totally emotionally developed, not, uh, not in a state of arrested development, so to speak. And just, you know, they fart uh, gold stars. They fart gold stars. And of course, we found that that is so not true. And some of the stuff that came out with Amber Heard, to me, is an even bigger crystallization that men must stop pedestalizing women. I even think that it would be worth it to go a step further and say that any time you come in contact with a woman, you must immediately remind yourself that they, as good as they look right there in front of you, that they look like total dog shit without makeup, and not only that, but they may just maybe might take a shit on your bed like a fucking dog if you don't treat them correctly. Or if they're just not totally and subliminally happy. And I think, obviously, I'm, I'm kidding around here, but, but there is a lot of truth to that. You know, to remind yourself that that it's not just the picture frame that you are seeing with that chick that is the end all be all because it's not. There's layers to this. And, you know, you look at Amber Heard and you see this on the surface, you know, decently attractive woman. You know, I think she... She's a little too uh, bland for my liking, a little bland for my liking. But, you know, generally speaking, I don't want to be one of those guys that's like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't tap that. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. What are we doing here? So generally speaking, I mean, she's a fucking movie star. OK, guys, or, you know, it, it, maybe not the most successful movie star, but a movie star nonetheless, okay? I mean, Johnny Depp, one of the biggest chads on earth fucking was willing to give her a tumble in the hay, okay? So it is what it is. So on the surface, you, you, you see Amber Heard and she looks like that. And you dig even a little bit further below and you find that 
it's it's total anarchy below the surface. It's it's total destruction. It's garbage. It's gross. It is just absolutely 100% ugly and terrible and fucking gross. Now, I'm not saying that to say that, you know, because of that, because, you know, women below the surface tend to be way worse than what we see in the beginning picture frame that you should never, ever talk with them or you know, end up marrying them one day. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you need to come back to reality and be honest about the situation so that you can best sift through the bullshit and not end up choosing a totally fucking pill of a nightmare in Amber Heard. Okay, that is what I'm saying here. Okay, this brings me to number two. Number two, Amber Heard showed us uh, what I already knew and many men have known, which is it's funny how you see all these women, these modern day women say, you know, that they like being in this open relationship that you know, they say that to justify it with them fucking multiple guys. Um, you know, they will use it as an excuse in, in many different versions, but when it comes to a guy that they actually like, they need vast amounts of emotional support they need vast amounts of attention. And that's the main point here is that she totally displayed what men have known for years, which except for apparently in the modern day, which is that women need vast amount of attention. You know, it, it's just, it's so crazy that with this, you, all you hear is like two, you just need to read like two sentences worth of this uh, trial information. And you find out that much of the terrible behavior from Amber Heard stemmed from the fact that Johnny stopped giving her attention once he got tired of banging her average stuff which is what always happens. Guys always get bored of it, which is, again, why I think you should not pedestalize because when you pedestalize, you end up bringing up a chick to a level that she doesn't really deserve and she's not worthy of that at all. But you read just a few transcripts of this trial and you find that the main reason Amber Heard what went totally psycho is because Johnny Depp didn't continue giving her the attention that he once gave her, which it, it's just, <laughs> I find totally hilarious because in this modern era where women, you know, can do this and do that, you know, they can be bad bitches and they can you know, they can be everything a man can be. Every time we go just a little, just a little bit below the surface, we find that they are all the same and they are classic women. You know, they may be able to, uh, to fool some of these betas out here, some of these beta chumps out here, but, but these these alphas out here running the streets, they know they can spot a chameleon. They can spot a unicorn. They can spot a chick, you know, who describes herself as a feminine, a feminist, when in reality, she is just as girly as every other girl and will act in every regard like a chick when she's with a guy that she actually likes. And, uh, once he, and this is seen total in a hundred percent certainty 
when that same guy that she likes, which she is willing to be a woman for, that she will show uh, female characteristics when that same guy stops giving her as much attention. Number three, number three. To me, <laughs> that was uh, my cell phone. To me, uh, by the way, I have a flip phone. Uh, I don't do any of that iPhone stuff. But anyways, number three, it's, it's just better for your overall health and, and all that. Number three, Johnny Depp took one for, for all the homies. He took one for all the homies. And, you know, ultimately, the, the only reason that Johnny Depp was not totally castrated from the get-go is because of the goodwill he built with a female fan base before all of this. You know, obviously, you know, as Amber Heard said, Johnny Depp, you know, everybody loved him. And so he probably built a fair amount of goodwill that other men would not have in this situation. And you know what? Ultimately, I'm okay with that because if 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 what is required is a guy who is maybe shown a little bit more grace by women because of his handsomeness and you know, his movie star status in order for the masses to, to, to finally start asking themselves, man, these fucking women be getting away with everything, huh? If, if that is what is needed in order for some people to start seeing that, then I am totally fine with it. And Johnny Depp took one for all the homies out there. And because of that, you know, I'm grateful. And he, this, this, whole trial was nothing but a fucking slam dunk. Number four, number four is this trial showed the vast difference between the sexes in how society views each of them. And no, it is not equal. And it's not not equal for women, it's not not e it's not equal for men. Okay, and I will explain how. Amber Heard, all she had to do in order for a vast amount of society to believe her, all she had to do was write an op-ed piece in some fucking magazine, and almost. Almost everybody believed her. Almost everybody believed her from, from, from just that. Whereas Johnny Depp has to go and participate in a trial in England and America. And ultimately, he has to prove that he is not lying and that he is correct. In, or, in other words, he has to win the fucking trial too in order for a good amount of society to finally go, you know, a good amount of the Western society to go, huh, maybe that bitch is a psycho. Fuck, maybe she is a psycho. Whereas Amber Heard, all she had to do was write an op-ed because it does show how people view women uh, in the West and how people view men. People in the West view men as predators. They view them as uh, guys who, especially white men, they view them as guys who will ultimately, you know, get over on you and totally, you know, ruin you and, and just, you know, totally terrible things. And all of that good stuff. And ultimately, it requires a massive, massive superstar like Johnny Depp to spend millions of, probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on legal fees in order and sit through a publicly humiliating trial in order for people to hear his voice. Whereas Amber Heard, she gets a free opportunity. In fact, people probably couldn't wait to give her the opportunity to write 
some fucking story that ultimately ended up being a lie. But nonetheless, they gladly gave her the opportunity and didn't even think twice to figure out if the information was true. I don't, I don't know how much more evidence people need than this trial right here to show that we truly are not equal in this society and that the modern era, women have it far easier. They are believed far more often, far more willingly than any man, even a superstar, would ever be. And last but not least, my number five thought on this is that People who live their life largely off of how they see Hollywood actors and actresses living their lives, you are just as insane as these actors and actresses are. Their lives are totally nowhere near the lives that we live. They live in a totally different stratosphere where most of their time is free time where they literally get paid to have a good time and have fun and be in a, in a good mood and a happy mood. They literally get paid millions of dollars to fucking pretend to be someone else. Their lives are nowhere near your life. And the main point that I want to make here is just simply to say, even though Amber Heard was more crazy than Johnny Depp, all of these Hollywood individuals are, are, or most of them are crazy as hell. They are totally insane. Uh, and uh, they, they live in la la land in, in a world where it would even be hard for me to dream of living in that same world. So hopefully the trial did open up the totally ridiculous, crazy lifestyle that these Hollywood uh, actors and actresses live. And uh, hopefully the four other points that I made, you saw the same things as well. Let me know what you think in the comments section. What do you think this trial, uh, Amber Heard v. Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard, what it showed you? Uh, about the trial, about the modern state of women, about the modern state of men, about the about equal rights, all of that stuff. Let me know what you think uh, this trial showed you, how the media reacted to them, the whole nine yards. But before you do any of that, I want to ask you to hit that subscribe button because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share. You know the drill. Support your boy here. Support your boy here. And I will see you guys next time. DBAP. Don't be a pussy willow and facts or feelings because your feelings just don't matter. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.